going to look to the hills. But that's coming by here. I can't give up because Cain's too able. God, you know I love both of my sons. But, but the devil sneaked in because of jealousy. So uh, I say that the virtuous woman, she never, she never stops. She's thinking and planning, trying to make things better. She is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. Now we know about a merchant ship. Travels all over the river, bringing from far, far, you know, where did this come from? Oh, this came from Florida. This came from Arizona. The ship, the one that brings our food in. They are, uh, that's where the, the virgin woman is. Yes, she yes. don't never get tired of doing for her family. Because right. God give us a little bit different heart um, than the husband that the man has. Yes. We, we, we just kinder. And we so merciful and kind. We say, I don't give you this no more. I ain't gonna take you to the store shopping no more. And they'll come crying on mother's shoulder and mama, I want it because uh, Mary's mother took her shopping. Won't you take me? Mother said, Well, I'll do it this time. You know how we do. Yeah. That virtuous woman, that tender hearted mother, yeah. the one that loves her daughter, and says, I want you to look nice, be a virtuous girl, grow up and be nice. You gonna do for him. You say, well, you say, you you buy something nice. If you don't, sometimes the devil's out there trying to pull them on another way. Yes, so we want to make that let our daughters look nice. Yes, and so she's like the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar off. She rises also while it is yet night. Yes. And giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maids. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants the vineyard. She girds her arms with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceiveth that her merchant is good. Her merchandise is good. Mm -hmm. Her camel goes not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the, the distaff. She stretches her hands to the poor. Yea, she reaches for her hands to the needy. Oh, yeah. She is not afraid of the snow. Uh, for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. When winter time come, somebody talked on layaway this past week. Yeah. We mothers, we would lay away some so our children. I, I got, got this coat and layaway. I put it in the in August when it was so hot, but you know, when it was coming, the snow was coming. So you was looking out. A, wo a virtuous woman. She makes herself covering of taste free. Her clothing is silk and purple. Mm -hmm. Her husband is known in the gate when he sitteth among the uh, elders of the land. Yeah. Now, I, I kind of like that because you want your husband to look good. Yeah. You know, he, he, when he goes out, you don't want to have a mismatched sock on. <laughs> you know? This is, I'm going to tell you that too. <laughs> Right. That's right. Yes. Yes. When, when you're a virtuous woman, you want to make sure your husband is known when he comes in the gate. Yes. Because he's looking good. Yes. Yes. He's looking good for you. Yes, <laughs> yes. you want your husband to look good. Yes. And, and he's going to feel good too. Because I know I've heard of men just boast. Sometimes they don't tell us, but they should tell us too sometimes. Yeah. I know I got a good wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know my wife knows how to manage the money. Yeah. I know my wife is a good cook. Yeah. I know she keeps our house clean. Yeah. I don't know when the good to do because my wife takes care of everything. Yeah. They, they boast just a little bit for that. Yeah. But it's good that your husband loves you and you are that virtuous woman, so he has a right to boast. He, he has a right to boast. So she makes her fine linen and sells it and delivers girls, girls unto the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Strength and honor goes to this young lady here. Yeah. Because she is a virtuous woman. She knows how to build her house. She knows how to cook and clean and get up in the nighttime. 
and check things out. She does not sit in front of the TV and watch soap operas all day. Sometimes I heard her call them my soap operas. I said, well, you ain't getting no commission on you. <laughs> And have you ever called anybody on the phone at the wrong time? And they go watching the soap opera and said, uh -huh. Oh, what did you say? I said, I was in Georgia. Oh, I was watching my soap opera. They carried away. Yeah. Carried away. Yeah. Carried away over the soap opera. Yeah. But this yeah. virtuous woman, she is not having got time for all that. Yeah. She ain't got time for all that. She opens her mouth with wisdom. She's got to teach her grandchildren. She's got to teach her, the, her, her members of the church, the women, needs her. Much to do. So she, she, don't, she don't stop. She don't stop. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Joy is going to come at the Bible today. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Time is your payday coming at the Bible. We just keep on being faithful. Yeah. Keep on loving your members and being yeah. nice to them, to your grandchildren. God is going to take care of you. Because yeah. so he said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, no. nor his seed bear the bread. Yeah. So we got a righteous woman, yeah. so she ain't going to ever have to be bread. Yeah. God will take care of her. Yeah. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. What a beautiful woman she is with kindness. She likes to reach out. She likes to do for people. And she said, Man, Bill, I want to do so and so. I said, Well, that's nice. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. See, she's thinking, What can I do to make it a little bit lighter? What can I do to let my light shine a little bit yeah. more? Because she is a light in this ministry. Amen. And whatever she does, somebody may criticize her, but she'll feel good because she knows I'm serving a God that knows everything. Yeah. He said, The eyes of the Lord is in every place. The whole of the evil and the good. And he knows the intentions of our heart. He knows what we're going to say before we get the words out. We serve an awesome God. Yeah. One that knows about us. One that hears our cries. Yeah. One that answers our prayers. Yeah. So we thank God for having a woman like Sister Hess. Yeah. She looks well into the ways of her household. He is not the bread of life. She hasn't got time to be on the phone for hours and hours and idle and I'm time away. She has business to take care of. Business for the Lord. Business for the Lord to help keep the church uh, on fire. Keep her women alert and teaching them the way that the Lord will have them to go. Because she's had the experience. She's been brought up as a virtuous woman. She had a virtuous mother. One that did not uh, turn to the right or to the left. She's Look straight ahead. Yeah. For a brighter days for her family, for her girls. Amen. So she is a, a virtuous woman. She, her children rises up and calls her blessed. <coughs> oh, thank God for Jesus. Yeah. You know, it sounds good when little young ever has and yeah. sister has call you up and say, Oh, mother, come over. We're going to come get you. We'll take you out. They, they love her yeah. because she has planted that seed. And they feel like she deserves everything we can do for her. So it's good when your children, when your children can rise up and call her blessing. Not like some of the things we see on the TV where they murder mothers and they murder grandmothers. Oh yes, that, that's absolutely happening. So we that are saved and virtuous and have trained our children up, we do love. We do respect. I don't care what you say to you, you'll never have another mother. So that's why your children owe you this. They owe you this. The scripture said, honor your father and your mother. It included mother also. So you got to honor through this. This is the virtuous woman you have, your mother. That nothing should be too good for her if you can do it. Sure, give it while she now lives. I tell my children, don't give me flowers when I'm gone. I don't care whether you put that one out there. But send me a flower every once in a while. Make yeah. it feel good. Yeah. My granddaughter came in a couple of weeks ago and she had a nice little bouquet. And she heard me say this, you know, so she said, Grandmother, I brought you some flowers because we'll do you no good when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Nina, you sure tell the truth, honey. I said, I'd like to see him now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what makes us happy. Yeah. That's what life is all about, yeah. is having that happiness down in the inside. Yeah. The love and the kindness that you can show every day. This is a daily walk with the Lord. Yeah. And you have a virtuous woman 
that is uh, about her father's business. Amen. So it says, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So we need to praise her right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. To give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own words praise her beauty. So we're so glad, and I'm so honored. I can say how honored I am, and how I feel so blessed that my niece invited me to come to Battle Creek. We talked about prayer meeting, but I don't know who we got into the depths of this, uh, this, this special day. But she's doing everything that you have did for her today. Because she is a worthy woman, a woman of great wisdom and great knowledge, and she is very deserving. And I just thank God that she loved me enough. She could have sent to New York and got maybe one in the Bible or somebody that would have made it run across the floor. <laughs> but anyway, I'll tell you what, I can't run if, if, if the running gets right. Oh, the Lord moves me pretty quick sometimes. Because I love the Lord today, I love it with my whole heart. And I want to do what's right. I want to have, have a good life. And the Lord has been so good to me. And I thank Him for bringing me over the airway here again to this beautiful church. And see how it is it's growing. It's members, more members. And when I first came here years ago, they just started out. But it seemed like to me the Lord had the great things for this man and woman here at your church. And I, as I say, I thank him for, for being here, for her asking me. And I love the Lord with my whole heart today. All that I know, I love him. And I want to please him. I want to hear him say, well done. So uh, I desire you to pray for me because uh, I need prayer. Prayer is the key. We need to keep prayer wheel rolling. Don't get so comfortable that you that the prayer will stop and the fire go almost out. Yeah. We need to put some more logs on it. Yeah. We want to keep the prayer wheel going. Amen. But I have been blessed since I've been in Battle Creek. Yeah. The Lord has touched my body and He's touched my mind. Yeah. And He's gave Amen. me, given me a deeper desire yeah. is to say to run on and see what the end's going to be. Yeah. I'm so glad to see my nieces from Battle Creek, you know. Uh, their mother and I were very close, and so after my sister passed, I think they kind of love and deal a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we talk on the phone uh, different times and always enjoy each other. Yeah. But I'm going to try to sing my little favorite tune, yeah. and then the pastor's going to come and, and uh, extend the hand of fellowship of prayer. But I told the saints here in the meeting that uh, I like this little song. And uh, because it says what I want to say to the Lord. And uh, I mean, I can sing it like I should, but I'm trying. Yeah. <clears throat> God has smiled on me. 